Mille Lacs Lake is located in north central Minnesota and is the third largest lake in the state behind Lake Superior and Red Lake. It is roughly 100 miles north of the Twin Cities. Mille Lacs means Thousand Lakes in French and in the Ojibwe Indian language the lake is called Mississaugagon or Grand Lake. At over 130,000 acres this lake is a popular destination for fishermen throughout the state and throughout the Midwest. The Dakota Indians named this lake Midiwakan or Spiritual Lake. Just a few minutes along the lakeshore of this beautiful place and you could tell why the Dakota named it the Spiritual Lake. Whatever name you choose to use for the lake, it's a beautiful place and with two perfect days in front of me, it was time to get started. I had a perfect seat here along the lake shore listening to the waves lap against the rocks and the birds singing as the sun hung low in the western sky. Towards the end of the day, the light cast great shadows against the rocks and other objects in this little tiny inlet or harbor. And as I looked out over the lake, you could see fishermen out there and, and birds flying by and families of ducks going along in the lake. Sometimes when you go to a place like this, there are so many great subjects, so many things you could paint or sketch. It's really hard to pick uh, the, the best one to, to do. So, I mean, basically I just sat down and whatever caught my eye just went to work and um, decided not to try who, too hard to create a finished piece, but rather maybe a series of vignettes or small paintings or thumbnails. There's something liberating about not trying to finish a grand painting or a, the best work ever and just sketching and doing some vignettes and it's very relaxing and as the sun was going down uh, behind me I just got the feeling that I was losing part of the day and even though it stays light quite a bit after the sun goes down this time of year it was just uh, I got this feeling like like just time was running out and I had to work a little bit faster. I'm sure part of that feeling of being rushed is a holdover from the hyperactive lives we lead and when you get to a place like this time just sort of seems to slow down and speed up all at once. Uh, it's strange and hard to explain but it just uh, it's interesting and uh, it's just good it was a good place to be in and you know there's no bad moment there it's just great to be able to to draw the scenes and to sketch and to Spend your time doing work that's, I guess, meaningful. Feeds the soul. Art does that. And uh, what a great place to be able to do it in. Day one done, it was time to go in, have a little something to eat, and relax for the evening. I 
got out in time to watch the sun come up, but I didn't beat the fishermen. They'd been on the lake already for hours. I got to watch a family of ducks swim by, but mostly I just wanted to stand there, sketch, and enjoy the moment. Take it all in and enjoy the solitude and peace of the lake. It was a warm sun and a cool breeze and the beautiful sounds of the lake and nature around me. seems to be with all good things that time passed too quickly, and before I knew it, my two days were gone. It was time to pack up and head home.